welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, yes, I have another big haul for you guys. I just couldn't help myself. I know I did a haul for the Sephora sale that just happened and the Ulta sale that just happened, but there's products that I wanted to get during the sale that I couldn't find during the sale and so I had to wait and uh, and I have products that I did online and yeah, it's just a lot But before we get into it, don't forget if you're not already subscribed I would love if you would subscribe to my channel hit that bell so that way every time I upload you guys will get notified And if you guys see a different change in my video, it's because I had to do this in two parts actually two different days one of the days I didn't have time to film the whole thing so if you see me dressed a little bit different, that's why. Okay, let's start with some of the single packages. This one is from, where is this from? I think this is from Propa. Yeah, Propa Beauty. I got five lipsticks. I've heard really good things about this brand, um, of course, from Britt Clark. And so I had to try them. So I'm going to swatch them real quick for you guys. Oh, I'm trying not to have these boxes fall so the first one I got is the shade Prowess P-R-O-W-E-S-S S149 and it's like a well it looks like it's a red shade I don't know yeah you can tell right there but the lipsticks don't match to this shade right here which is kind of disappointing but this is what the packaging looks like really pretty I haven't swatched any of these lipsticks so this will be the first time see it looks like that this looks nothing like that. Like, look at that. But I'm still not mad at it. I like this color. And it's just a pretty brown color. That is really pretty. I thought it was going to be red, but... And these are very, very creamy. So be careful. Don't go, like, really hard on your lips with these because they'll break. I have a feeling they'll break or get, like, um, short. Then the next one I have is Finesse. S10N and supposedly I don't know if these like top shades are supposed to be what the color is supposed to look like from the inside but anyways and then this is what the lipstick looks like here just like a pretty neutral color oh I like that one that one looks really pretty it's that one right there really pretty neutral brown color I think this one's gonna be my favorite and then the next one we have is Closer, and it's S089. Looks like that. Another. This might be a little bit darker than the last one I just showed you. Oh, yeah, this is more true brown, brown color. I like that. And it's that one right there that's Closer. I should probably put these in order, huh? That I swatched them so I could repeat them again. And then the next one I got is Victress V I C T R E S S S 07N. Looks like that. They look like they would be like all the same colors, but they are all different colors, which I am so glad they are. And that's what that one looks like right there. And then the last one is Made It. It just looks like this. And it's S119. See, on the packaging, it looked like it was like more of an orange color. But this looks like it's like a burnt orange, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is pretty. Okay, so I am so glad I got the shades that I did. So that's what that one looks like. Okay, so let me see if I could try to repeat this again. So I think we started from here, right? So this one down here is the shade Prowess, P-R-O-W-E-S-S. -S. That one. Then the next one is Finesse, which is that one right there. And then the next one is Closer which is that one right there. And then the last to next is Vict Victorious, which is this one right here. And then Made It. So those are from 
proper proper i don't know exactly how you say it beauty looks like that i'm so excited to try these colors they're really cute package i got this a while back and i haven't been able to haul it i haven't even used it yet this one is from sydney grace if i could open it and yes i got it i got the tino, tino, tiny marvels palette featuring not featuring it's a collab with mel thompson um so it just looks like this i love this packaging so so much it's really pretty and then i can't wait to use it and then the packaging the actual packaging looks like this same as the cardboard packaging which i like because i'll probably get rid of this i'm not sure yet just looks like that and then the inside the pan sizes are bigger than i thought they were going to be i thought they were going to be smaller but this looks like this oh my god look at how pretty that looks i love it i cannot wait to play with this one so but yeah i love 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 the packaging i don't know if let's swatch some let's see we'll swatch scarab Ooh. web oh these are very creamy and we'll do a matte let's do mantis so those are the three that i swatch that is very very pretty scarab web and mantis right there oh that's very i love these shades right here that's like gonna be my favorite one oh my god that is so pretty i cannot wait to play with this palette so if you would like to see a look using this palette just let me know in the comments down below and then the last box package we have before we get into like the in-store stuff this one which one is this one? Oh, this one's from sephora i did an online purchase a while back and uh, these things were so hard to get during the 21 days of uh, not the 21 days during the ulta sale that i had to get it after but that's okay i really wanted these products these two things were so hard to get i'm still trying to get the foundation but that has been sold out for months already but it's from LYS Beauty and one of the items is the No Limits Matte Bronzer and then the Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush in the shade Confident and then for the bronzer I have it in Harmony. So let's go ahead and open them real quick so I can show you what they look like. This one is the bronzer. It just looks like this and this is another one that i haven't been able to open and look at let's see Ooh, very and so this, i think this was the medium um shade in the range which ooh, looks a little bit light but i think i can make it work if i build it up it's that one right there and again it's in the shade harmony and then for the blush I have it in the shade confident and this one's a cream blush and it looks like this I couldn't decide on what blush to get but I just went ahead and got this one I have another one that I have in my uh, loves list that I want to try to get but not until later later and then we'll go ahead and swatch this oh very creamy Ooh, I like that color. And it's that one right there. Again, it's in the shade Confident. So really pretty blush. I can't wait to try these out as well. And then finally from that box, I got the Danessa Myricks Beauty Light Work Highlighting Palette. Palette. And this is another one that I cannot wait to play with. This is another one I tried to get during the sale, but... By the time I went to get it, it was already sold out and it hadn't came back into stock until like way later. So this is what it looks like. It is pretty big. I thought it was going to be smaller, but this is pretty big. So, And then the pan size are big as well. I thought this was going to come broken, um, but thankfully it didn't come broken. Oops, I almost stuck my finger in there. But this is what it looks like. Really, really pretty. Let's see if I could swatch some of these they feel a little bit drying but that's okay and it's ooh, really pigmented let's see 
yeah so it's those two right there so again another item that i am excited to play with one more online order and that is from gerard cosmetics i forgot it must have been buried in the stuff that i had but anyways so i did get a couple things from gerard cosmetics i think because they were doing like a sale for mother's day i forgot what it was i don't know if it was 50 percent off or something like that so i did get a few things and one of those things was this lip liner well this lip pencil um it's in the shade nude i just wanted a simple nude lip pencil i wanted to try them out so nude was the best thing to get and it just looks like this really pretty packaging i like the packaging and this is what the pencil looks like and this is the shade nude then I got one of their Slay All Day setting sprays. This one is this in the scent Rose. I haven't sprayed any of these. And actually I'm going to spray it right now. So that way, because I haven't put any spray on today. But it just looks like this. And I'm actually surprised. I thought it would, didn't have a cap on it. Because my order came with an extra one of these. So I thought that was really nice of them to give me an extra one. But... This is what the rose one looks like. It says, let me see, does it say directions? Spray before or after your makeup application to keep your face fresh and flawless. Keeps the skin matte and increases the wear time of your makeup. Hmm, let's see. Oh, I like the smell. It does smell like roses, so if you're not a fan of scented roses or just in scent, in general you wouldn't like this but I like roses so it smells really good it kind of reminds me of the Mario Badescu setting sprays but not as this is a little bit stronger than that one so and then finally the last thing I got was this now Britt Clark is one of those influencers who's been getting me lately and she always raves about this this is the what is this called um the clean canvas eye concealer and base I got it in the shade light I believe it doesn't say fair and it just looks like this now when I got it I was actually surprised because look at how tiny this looks this looks really small but when I opened it um, a lot of product is inside so I was happy about that but yeah she's always raving about this and I just decided to go ahead and pick it up because I have been wanting to try this it just looks like that see it's like super super tiny I was actually surprised so I am glad I got it um, during a discount because I would have not paid full price but like I said a lot of product does come in it and that was everything for my online hoarders and yeah let's get to this bag now this isn't from Ulta I just put the products in here but this is from Walmart um, I got a couple things from a new brand that they carry there at Walmart and I wasn't going to pick up anything from this brand but then I saw people's reviews and people talking about it so I thought hmm, let me try it out. So I am talking about Carter Beauty and they are sold at Walmart like I was saying. Um, the only thing I did not get from the brand was a eyeshadow palette. The reason why I didn't get an eyeshadow palette was because the eyeshadow palettes that they had in store they just looked like kid makeup to me and I just I felt like I had similar palettes in my collection already and I already have a ton of palettes in my collections that I just decided to skip on out on it so what I got was the Cupid blusher palette and the Ap Apollo bronzer palette these intrigued me so much even when I saw them in store the first time and then I didn't pick them up and then I started seeing people talk about it. Um, they looked really pretty so I'm excited to try these out. The only thing I don't like is that they are sealed and like in the packaging they don't have what the palettes look like so you kind of have to watch reviews or you know anything on YouTube to see or go on the website to check it out but that's the only thing I do not like about it. And then I went ahead and got their Supreme Gel Liner. It just looks like this. It's just in black. I don't know exactly the name of it. Jet Black. But that's what it looks like. And it does come with a cheap little brush. I don't think I'm, I'm not going to use that. But I guess if you want to try and use the brush, you can. But yeah, I got that. And then I got their mascara. It's the After Vault 
After Dark Volumizing Mascara in the shade After Dark as well. Just looks like this. Then the last products that I got from the brand were some lip products. And I got two of the, what are these called? Um, Free Speech Lip Tint. I am the shades Debbie and Chris. And so that's what the colors look like. They're kind of similar on camera, but in person they look a little bit different. One is a little bit lighter than the other. And then I went ahead and got the lipsticks, and these are called Word of Mouth Velvet Matte and Debbie and Chris as well. So that's what the colors look like. And then that's all I got from Walmart. So now we can move on to, let's do Ulta since I have a couple bags from Sephora. But this is my Ulta bag, everything in here. The first thing that I got from Ulta was this Wet n Wild Big Papa Mascara and it's in Blackest Black. I've been hearing everybody talk about this mascara. I've been hearing good things and bad things so I wanted to try it out for myself. It looks really cute. I like the crown on top of it and I like the name Big Papa. That's cute. So I got that. Then I got some more Jaclyn Hill stuff. So I was able to get my hands on some of the lip products. I only bought one of each. I bought one lip liner in the shade, what is this? Praline. It just looks like this. Let me open it and swatch it for you guys. This is what the color looks like. I like the packaging. I like the, the lettering. It's really pretty. This is the shade Praline right there. It's kind of similar to the Gerard one, but the Gerard is a little bit more lighter. Sorry if you could hear that helicopter. And then I got one of her liquid lipsticks in the shade I'm a Cancer. And this is what the color looks like. Really pretty packaging again. This is matte up here. I haven't swatched these, so this is like my first time. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm glad I got this color. I can mix it in with the Jaclyn Hill lip liner. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's really pretty. So it's, that's the liquid lipstick in the shade I'm a Cancer. Yeah, right there. So really pretty, and then I couldn't help myself. I did get another one of her bronzer and blush duos. This one is in the shade Warm Flesh and Golden Goddess. I think this one's uh, darker than the other one that I have in my collection already. I think I have Sun Kissed and I forgot the blush name, but the reason why I got another one is because in my original one that I have, I don't like the blush. It's a little bit too pink for me. And I think this one's a little bit darker, hopefully, but that's what it looks like. It does look darker in the camera than in person, so I'm hoping that it is darker. But let's go ahead and swatch it. Mm, I don't know. I think it looks a little bit more peachier, if anything. But yeah, I think the bronzer is a little bit more darker. That's what the colors look like. So that's the blush and that's the bronzer. So yeah, I think the bronzer is definitely darker than the original one that I have. And then the blush, I don't know. It looks about the same color, just a little bit more peachier. So I'm like, oh, I don't know. I'm not going to buy any more just because these are expensive and two is enough for me. So I'm just going to not buy any more and try to use the ones that I have in my collection now. Then the next thing I got were, I got two of these. I got the Bear With Me Luminous Tinted Skin Serum. I got two because I bought one medium, um, yeah, universal medium. And then the other one I got in the shade light medium. At first I got medium, but then I thought, oh, maybe medium is a little bit too dark. But then I'm like, hmm. Maybe I should have just stayed with medium. But the reason why I got these, I don't plan on using them on their own because I know 
I've seen reviews that they don't they're not like full coverage or anything but they're not supposed to be full coverage but like they don't give no coverage but I don't mind because I actually bought it I want to use it I can't get to my door right now but I actually want to mix it in with my um what is it called shoot why can I not think of it right now my Ilia the tinted skin you know what I'm talking about the one that I like that one is a little bit too light so I wanted to mix in a darker shade so that way I can get my perfect color with that so I just thought maybe this would work out for me so oh I almost fell so these are the ones that I'm gonna mix in so I have those then I got a couple different shades of these what are these from these are the NYX epic wear liner sticks eyeliners I got it in the shade pink spirit um graphic purple cosmic yellow and orange zest so I just got these ones I plan on doing a summertime makeup look so I figured the orange and the yellow I could use in that look but yeah so it just looks like this because I don't have no orange or yellow uh, eyeliners in my collection so I have those then a couple more things then I was finally able to get my hands on this product it took me forever but I was able to find a shade this is the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation powder I got it in the shade 125 ivory buff it looks dark in the pan but, I don't, but when I swatched it it looks maybe like it's gonna be too light for me I don't know maybe not we'll see I'm gonna have to test it out and try it but can't really tell but I put it right there and yeah this has been such a TikTok viral thing going on and everybody's been trying to get their hands on it every time I go to try to get it they only have like the last two dark colors and of course that's not gonna work out for me but I was surprised when I was able to finally get it so yeah I have that then I just got this um, silicone glitter packer brush the M760 from Morphe the reason why I got this is because I heard these types of brushes are good to pack on glitter I wanted to get the one from Huda Beauty but that's $15 and I wasn't about to pay $15 for that brush when I could get one from Morphe for like six bucks I think this was but this is what it looks like so I cannot wait to try this to see if it really does work uh, when I use glitter shadows but yeah that's what it looks like and then the last two products are lippies so this one is NYX it's the lip lingerie XXL in the shade what shade is this undressed it just looks like this just a, another nude color so I haven't tried this one out either let's see what this one looks like oh this one's pretty this one actually looks like the I don't know if it was the Gerard one that I swatched it looks like one of the lip liners that I swatched but that's what it looks like right there really pretty color so I cannot wait to try that out and then finally the last thing from Ulta I got was another NYX products it the this is milky gloss in the shade cookies and cookies and milk I got I had this before but then um, I gave it to my mom because she really wanted it so I went and got another one because I really wanted it back in my collection it's just a regular gloss it did have some pigment when I put it on oh yeah and I think that's why I liked it so it's this one right there see how it has a little bit of pigmentation which I like so again that is milk and cookies and it did feel good from what I could remember so I'm excited to try that one now that is it from Ulta now let's go to the CCO I got quite a bit of stuff from the CCO um, so yeah let's just dive into it the first thing I got was the Smashbox camera ready precise highlighting brush now I have been using this and this is my favorite highlighting brush so far I love this brush to highlight my face so I'm finally able to take it out of its packaging I've been putting it back in every time I use it but I'm excited to finally not have it in the packaging so I could use it 
but it just looks like this really pretty I love this brush so much so if you can get your hands on it at the CCL I highly recommend to pick it up just looks like that it's just the perfect precise highlighting brush I love it and then you could even turn the brush around and do the nose like I love this brush then the next thing I got ugh, kind of mad at myself that I bought this because I bought is this the same one yeah I have another one in my collection and it's too dark so I have to use it as a foundation but I'm talking about the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer I have this already in my collection but it's too dark like I said for underneath my eyes so I moved it to my foundation door and this one I have in the, sh in the shade Seashell and I think this one is still too dark I'm just I, I give up now getting this I'm not gonna get this no more if this doesn't work for underneath my eyes then that's it I'm just going to not get it but I'll swatch it for you guys this one's like I don't know I, don't, I just don't like the color of it but it's this one right there and it does oxidize so just be warned if you're trying to get it for like underneath your eyes and you swatch it and you think oh that's gonna be a perfect color for me let it sit on your skin for a little bit and then look at it because like I said I swatched it not this particular one but another one I swatched it and it over time it just got darker and darker and darker so I'm gonna actually leave this one on my hand for right now to see if it gets darker but yeah that's what it looks like right now then the next thing I got so I finally picked this up I seen it the last time I was there and I didn't get it because I was like no I'll wait maybe it'll go down in price a little bit more and it didn't but I just couldn't help myself I've been thinking about it and for 60% off I was like you know what I'm just gonna do it I'm talking about the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation yes I got this at the CCO for 60% off so this foundation is I think $88 and I got it for under $40 so I was just like yes I could not believe for half more than half the price the only thing is that foundation the um, the shade matches it is so hard to find a match like I was sitting there for a while trying to find my perfect shade and I was going between this one and another one but I felt like the other one was just a little bit too dark and I wasn't sure if it was gonna if it was gonna oxidize so I just went ahead and got this one this one is in the shade 4.7 cool beige now I am NOT cool tone but the undertones are just so weird in this foundation so if you've been wanting to pick up this foundation I recommend just going into store like at Sephora or even at the CCO and doing a swatch test because in the in, in uh, online it does not look anything like this so just keep that in mind but yeah really pretty packaging and then you just do like that and close it so yeah I'm excited to try that and then I got two different shades of this one. I am talking about the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. Now I got a dark one and a light one. So this one of course is going to be for my foundation. And then I got this one so I could cream contour. I got the darker one in the shade 4.15 Dark Cool. And then for my foundation shade I got it in the shade 2.3 Light Medium Warm. Now, I heard Casey Holmes a long, 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 long time ago talking about using this as a cream bronzer slash contour, and I've been wanting to try it out ever since then, and I'm talking like years ago, and so I finally was able to get it. I think these were like 10 bucks, maybe 9 bucks each, so I was like, yes, of course, I'm going to get two, you know, one for my foundation and one to cream contour, so yeah, so I have these. I cannot wait to try these out. And then finally the last two things from the CCO were just little samples. I got this sample of the Smashbox Always On Metallic Matte. Just looks like this. I'm not sure if it's already open but I'm just going to give it to somebody, a friend or a family because I'm not going to use this. And then I did buy this. Now the reason why I bought this, this is, uh, what is this? This is the Clinique Lid Pop in the shade Petal Pop. I thought this was a blush and it's actually a shadow but I can use it for a blush it is really pretty so I just went ahead and was like I'm just gonna keep it just because it is really pretty and it looks like this 
So yeah, I'll probably use it either for an eyeshadow or something. But look at how pretty that is. Let me give you guys a little swatch. It might be a little bit too dark for a highlighter. But yeah, that's what it looks like. So I'm excited to try that out. But yeah, so that was everything from the CCO. Now, I have two bags from Sephora. Now, I bought this after the Sephora sale because some of the products that I have in this bag, I wanted during the sale, but I couldn't get my hands on. So I really wanted it, and I decided to go back and get the stuff. So let's get into these. Okay, sorry for that cut. There was a loud airplane. But anyway, so I'm going to go into my first bag that I have here. And the first thing I'm going to pull out, oh yeah, I remember this. So I finally got this. I had a gift card and I was like, I might as well get it because I told you guys in a previous video that I did not want to pay my own money to get this because I thought it was a little bit overpriced. But like I said, I had a gift card. So I went ahead and got it and it's the NARS Summer Solstice Eyeshadow Palette. <sighs> Once again, Britt Clark made me buy it. She raved and talked highly about this and I just had to get my hands on it looks like this it is so pretty I wanted the cream bronzer the NAR, uh, the Laguna one but I can't find it anymore so I don't know if it's now not coming back or what but I was able to get this so the packaging is really pretty let me see oh my god it's just hard to open oh that is very pretty so it looks like that the only thing is I feel like this isn't a palette that's cohesive so but once again like I said the colors are really really pretty I like those a lot let's swatch some of them ooh ooh the mattes are very very creamy so just be careful when you're applying them and even the glitter ones they're they're pretty pigmented so this is what these swatches look like. I swatched four of them. Just looks like that. Let me see. Where do I swatch them? I'll swatch them in. Ooh. Ooh, the mattes look really nice. So that's what they look like right there. This one didn't really swatch that good. But that's what they look like. Very, very, very pretty. So I cannot wait to try that palette out okay sorry for that cut out my phone rang i forgot to put it on silent and then an airplane came by so oh, i'm so sorry anyways like i was saying i got the fenty blurring skin tint in the shade five and it was hard for me to find during the sale i finally found it after the sale of my shade just looks like this and this is another one where you i recommend you going in store to find your shade because and online it just did not look right and I could have swore I swatched number five in store and it still looks too light it looks like this I'm actually gonna swatch it right now let me shake it first because it does say to shake really well this was so hard to like find my right shade but let me see hopefully this is a good shade match I don't know I can't tell yeah it does look like the bottle so this is what the color looks like mm, it does look a little bit light for me but I think I can make it work yeah it blended out actually right there and if not I could always mix in a little bit of the NYX um, what is this the skin serum so I might have to do that if not I could just bronze but yeah this was like so hard to figure out my shade online and in store damn I don't know but I think I can make it work so we will see on this so stay tuned for a summary look video and then finally the last thing I got from the uh, bag is this Kaja play bento um, face I got mine in the shade number two cloud latte just looks like this so I got the second one now I specifically got this because of the bronzer I wanted to try this bronzer it looks so pretty 
looks like this really pretty stack let me see if I can open it so this is what the stack looks like Ooh, I forgot I have one of those paper things this is the blush now I think I like the blush a little bit better in number three I couldn't decide between number two and number three or number I'm sorry number one and number two I think it was I can't remember now but yeah it just looks like that that's what the blush looks like and then it has the highlighter and the highlighter looks like that I'm hoping this highlighter is pigmented like because I heard it wasn't but like it's like a subtle highlight but it doesn't look like it so that's the highlight right there and the blush on top and then the bronzer color let's see I'm hoping this one's not too dark Ooh, very creamy oh yeah no it's perfect and that's what the bronzer looks like so I'm gonna have to build it up some more but that's the bronzer right there really pretty so yeah so the bronzer and then the blush and then the highlight so yeah, that's what that looks like. I cannot wait to try this. I really, really think I'm going to like this one. And so that is the last thing from that bag. Now we have one more Sephora bag to get into. And this one is pretty full as well. This one, I actually, this is the one I actually got like one or two days after the sale. So but anyway, so the first thing I have on here is... I have two of these. Let me get the other one out. I got two of the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash Lipsticks. Just looks like this. I got them in the shade Colada and Rum Punch. Just looks like this. I've heard really good things about these lipsticks, so I wanted to try them out for myself. Let's go ahead and swatch them real quick. I love the packaging. They look so so freaking pretty look at like look at the packaging just looks like water in the ocean really really pretty so this one is colada Ooh, that is pretty 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 I cannot wait to try that so that's colada right there and then this is rum punch These are beautiful. So, Colada and Rum Punch. Look at that. Oh, I cannot wait to try those lipsticks out. They look so, so pretty. Okay, I'm so glad I got these. Yes, I cannot wait to try these. Then, let's see what else I got. And then, I got another item from Tarte. Also from the same line, the... Rainforest of the Sea. This is the H2O Gloss, and this is in the shade Hang 10. I don't think you're going to be able to see that, but it just looks like that. And again, I heard really good things about these glosses. Ooh, this packaging is pretty. I'm going to have to go out and get some more of these lipsticks and lip glosses. Look at that. Oh my god. I don't know if you could tell, but up here it looks like water droplets. Yeah, look at how, oh my god, I'm so excited for this one. Ooh, I could layer it on top of one of the lipsticks that I got from the line too. So yeah, so that's the lip gloss right here. This looks like that, and that's in the shade again, Hang 10. Oh, I cannot wait. So again, Colada, Rum Punch, and Hang 10 very very pretty okay oh I'm so excited the most excited thing I'm, I am uh, like about like what I got are these products right here I don't know why I cannot talk today I'm so sorry please forgive me then the next couple of items that I got were from Danessa Myricks I got four I actually got two of each um I got two of her Vision Flush Lip, Cheek, and Eye Colors. And then I got two of her uh, Color Fix 
waterproof matte liquid pigment eye lip and cheek I got one matte and one cream so yeah so I have tried out I think just one of these the color fix yeah in the shade in the matte matte one in latte these are a little bit hard to blend especially if you're gonna use it for like an eyeshadow so I recommend working one side and trying to work fast but yeah so this is what the color fix looks like like I said I got one cream and one matte this is latte and this is ballerina yeah ballerina so this looks like that I'll show you the packaging real quick So ballerina and latte I have used latte like I said um, and just be mindful that you have to work really fast with these but yeah I cannot wait I want to try actually ballerina as a highlighter so we will see and maybe I could even use latte as a blush so I'm gonna have to try that out but yeah so that's what that looks like I'm not gonna swatch these and then I got like I said the vision flush I haven't tried these out but I did get two. I got one matte and one glitter. Um, and the shade Nutcracker is the matte, and then the glitter is Tiara. Tiara. And it just looks like this. I could use Nutcracker as a bronzer. It's the bottom one right here, and then what did I say? Tiara on the top is a glitter. So yeah, it just looks like. That. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna swatch these because these ones are a little bit hard to see through the packaging. Ooh, this one I could try as a highlighter. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Oh, yeah, I could definitely try this out as a bronzer. So, yeah, so that's the two right there really pretty I like that a lot actually for a bronzer and a highlight yes please so I'm excited to try these ones out and then what's, what's this big one down here oh yeah so I wasn't gonna get this this is actually an impulse buy not so much an impulse buy but I was looking at it when we went when me and my boyfriend went to Sephora and he saw me looking at it and he's like you want it like just get it like you know so I was like, okay, fine. And again, Britt Clark, she made me do it, making me waste my money. No, I'm just kidding. But she did talk highly about this. It's the Gucci foundation. Uh, I don't know. I had to have it. I have the bronzer and I love it. So I was like, you know what? I, I know I'm going to like the, the foundation. Hopefully, I do love it. But um, yeah, this is what it looks like. Oh, I'm just so excited to have it in my life. And I got it in the shade, what shade is this? 220N. That's the shade that I got. It just looks like that. So I'm excited to try it. I haven't used it yet just because it's Gucci. Like, I don't want to open it yet. I know eventually I'm going to have to open it, but it just oh, it looks so pretty. I, this is definitely going to stay in the packaging because even my Gucci bronzer, I still have it in its packaging. Like, when I use it, I put it back. And yeah, so I'm excited to try this. And then we got a couple more things, two more products left. Then this next one I have tried and I don't think I like it. I'm like, oh. But it's the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Glow Highlighter. Just looks like this. Yeah, I, um, I don't know. I just, it's not, it's not like in your face like I wanted it to be. Or like at least I thought it was going to be. But this is what the packaging looks like really pretty packaging just I don't know it's just not blingy enough for me it just it looks like that it looks blingy in the pan but when you put it on your face it just it doesn't do it for me yeah even when I swatch it like I have to like really dig in there to get any type of payout but that's what it looks like and when you swatch it it looks pretty because I swatched this in store and that's why I bought it because I was like oh like I'm gonna love it like it's gonna look you know in your face but 
It really does it now that I brought it home and used it and swatched it again. But I don't know. I'm going to have to play with it some more and see. But it's not my favorite. I'm going to keep it, obviously. But <sighs> the hype that I heard about it, I'm like, mm, it's okay. I wouldn't recommend it. But I have it, so I'll use it. Then finally, the last product I have. I actually should have showed it when I showed the lipsticks, but that's okay. It's the Tarte Sea Breezy Cream Bronzer in the shade Seashells. I was going to get the small one, but then I was like, no, I'll just get the big one. And then, anyways, a lot of the places that I was looking for it, I couldn't find the small one. They only have the big size, so I was like, I'm just going to get it. But this is what the packaging looks like. Really pretty. I really like this whole collection. Like, I'm excited to try it out. But it looks like this really pretty oh and it's creamy too oh i think i'm gonna like this more this looks like that oh yeah i i think i'm really gonna like that i like that a lot already just by swatching it all right you guys that is everything that i got from sephora ulta walmart gerard cosmetics um yeah, all those places. This was a big haul, so I hope you guys were able to watch all of it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're already not subscribed. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!